One thing I love about living in Cocoa Beach and being on the Space Coast, it's being able to watch a rocket launch. And in this video, I'm going to go over my favorite places that I like to view a rocket launch, along with some other great spots throughout the county. So stick around. Whether this is your first time coming to my channel or you've seen quite a few of my other videos, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out to watch my videos. If you haven't done so already, you should probably hit that subscribe button. This way you're notified every time I put new videos out just like this one. I'm posting regular content about what's happening here in the Cocoa Beach area and on the Space Coast, whether it's business news, event news, or things that are happening in the real estate market. I get questions every day from people who are moving or relocating here to the Cocoa Beach area into the Space Coast, asking me about what's going on in neighborhoods, asking about schools, and asking about real estate. So if you are moving soon and you have any questions about what's going on in the Cocoa Beach area, I would love to hear from you. You can call me, you can text me, you can comment below, you can hunt me down and find me on social media. Wherever you like to communicate, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Now, let's get on with the show. So if you're heading to the Cocoa Beach area or you live anywhere in Brevard County and you want to see a rocket launch, the good thing about where we live, you can just step outside and you can see it, just look towards the Space Center and at the time of the launch and you'll be able to catch the rocket, no problem. But if you want to go to a specific location, like one of my favorite places to go see a rocket launch, I like to head to the beach. You can get as close as Jetty Park or as far away as Patrick Satellite Beach and further south and still be able to see the rocket. But remember, the closest you get to the Space Center, the better your viewing is going to be. But you really don't have to be that close. If you follow me at any of the social media sites, I take most of my photos and enjoy most of the rocket launches in South Cocoa Beach and I can take great shots just like these. Other great locations to go on the beach is if you want to grab like a bite to eat and maybe have a drink while waiting for the rocket launch, you can hit coconuts, you could hit the sandbar, you can go to the pier and enjoy some of the restaurants there while waiting and then you can enjoy the views of the rocket launch from the deck of those places. Port Canaveral is a great place to watch a launch. You can get along the water, you have the, you have the ships and boats in the foreground and then as the rocket lifts above the brim on the north side of the port you'll be able to enjoy the rocket launch from there. Port Canaveral also has some great restaurants that you can eat and enjoy while waiting for the rocket to launch too. We've got the Exploration Tower at the port as well, and if it's not being reserved for a private function, SpaceX likes to reserve it for some of their press conferences there during the launch, you could pay the 15 or 20 bucks to get up on the deck to watch the launch from there. Another great place to watch the launch is along 528. So if you go along the north side of 528 and park along the river, anywhere from Port Canaveral to Merritt Island is a good view where you could watch it lift watch the rocket lift practically right from the launch pad and even on the section of 528 between Merritt Island and the mainland it offers good viewing as well. Now one of my favorite spots to go to unfortunately they don't allow you to port, park here anymore but if you go to the north side of the port across from the cruise terminals have somebody drop you off there you can see the rocket launch right from the pad and it is amazing views from there. If you can't make it over to the beaches to watch the launch, that's okay too. You can stay along the mainland and really anywhere along US-1 from 528 north. If you have river access, pull into one of the many parks that are there. You could watch the rocket launches from there. If you could see the VAB building, you could see the rocket launch. There's one spot in Titusville that I really want to stop and check out a launch, and that's on top of the Max Brewer Bridge. I've seen photographers take photos from there and it is an amazing view. You should definitely try that one. Another spot near Titusville is the Play Linda Beach. Now this one's kind of tricky for a launch because they have limited capacity out there. So you have to show up early in order to get your spot on the beach. But you're really close to the launch pad if they allow you out there for that launch. Best thing to do is to go to the Playlinda website and see if they have availability and they'll allow you out there and you could be exceptionally close to see a launch. If you want to be on a boat in the ocean to watch a launch, you should contact Starfleet Tours because this is a service that they offer. And by far one of my favorite experiences for seeing a launch was thanks to the NASA Social. This is an online registration that they offer for some of their launches you enter in your social media credentials and who you are, and they pick 
40 people to enjoy a launch. You get behind the scenes viewings of the Space Center and you also get up close press passes in order to watch the launch. It's truly amazing and it's something you should check out. If you want to see a rocket launch and you're anywhere in Central Florida or Brevard County, you could probably see it if the weather's clear enough. And if it happens to be a night launch, they light up the sky so much, you can see these for miles away. I have friends on the west coast of Florida that have posted pictures on social media saying they saw a night launch. It's kind of cool. So if you're traveling here to the Cocoa Beach area to watch a rocket launch, I would love to hear where you saw the rocket ship take off. If you'd like to comment below, that would be great. If you'd like to tag me on a post on Instagram or on Twitter, these are my handles. You should probably follow me there too. So thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Eric Larkin. I'm with Remax Aerospace. I hope you're coming to Brevard County soon to watch a rocket launch and I'll see you on the next show.